Facial recognition, no longer science fiction. It's being used everywhere and every day. Well, it may have been used on you today, and if it was, you probably wouldn't know it. Yeah, tonight, Christine Lazar and two on your side investigating facial recognition and, the, of course, the privacy problems that come along with that. And, you know, it's easier to do facial recognition on people like us because when you Google us, there's so many images that are freely out there with our faces on there. Not so. I didn't know that. Yeah. What you say? Not many of them good. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find you, though, even with a bad photo. Now, facial recognition can be a powerful security tool, but it also carries risks. One local company is at the forefront of this technology, and they showed us the future of facial recognition. Your face. There's no other one exactly like it. And unlike a fingerprint, you can be identified by your face without touching anything or anyone. Our goal is ultimately to teach cameras to see like human beings. Sean Moore is CEO of TrueFace. His company specializes in facial recognition technology. I think it will be widespread in five to ten years. TrueFace led us into their Venice office and showed us how the technology works, starting with how most of their clients use facial recognition as a way to allow access to secure locations. It's actually recognizing our faces right now as people that are allowed to enter the office. TrueFace added my face, which they got by Googling me to a database of those allowed into the building. Even with sunglasses on, I was able to walk up the stairs and before I even got to the door, it unlocked. Now coming up tonight on CBS 2 News at 11, we will show you who is using facial recognition technology and why critics say it is far from accurate. Okay, I can't wait to see the report because yeah. I'm... Yeah. Kind of on that last part there. I mean, it's yeah, a lot. We'll show exactly. you. It's not just facial recognition. There's also stuff with emotion and age and all that. So Oof. stay tuned tonight at 11. All right. Thanks, mm -hmm. Christine. Can two on your side help you? With this, I'm not so sure. Email two on your side <laughs> at CBS.com and tell us about your problem or tweet us using the hashtag two on your side. Christine will read all of them and she'll see what she can do to help you out.